heading for Wire Pass Trailhead near Kanab, Utah. It's about 8 miles from Highway 89 to the parking area. We've heard this road can be extremely rough and unpassable during rain. We're excited to do this hike. We've heard it is the next best hike to Antelope Canyon without the $120 per person price tag. So please come along with us as we explore Wire Pass. Oh, look at these rocks. This is what I'm walking up right now. Who needs to go to the wave? These are really cool. Now this is cool. You can tell it's a lot cooler down here too, Dave. I think we just dropped about 15 degrees. Oh yeah, that's great. Bruno likes the smell. All right. How do we get by this? Is this the one the guy said you had to walk around? I can smell the flowers. There's these really pretty purple flowers that are blooming along the trail. And lots of butterflies. Butterflies. <laughs> I think I'm liking Utah. How about you? Yeah, I'm liking Utah. <laughs> Okay. Wow, that looks narrow. Yeah. They got a little small drop here I need to negotiate. And the walls are wet. Oh, neat. Look. They are. What do you have? It looks just like chocolate. It's a piece of mud, but it breaks just like soft chocolate. It does look like chocolate. I really want to have a bite. <laughs> no, I, I want a, chocolate. That, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So we stayed overnight here. This is a BLM property right above the parking lot for uh, the Wave and Wire Pass, Trail. Wire Pass Trail that we hiked yesterday. So this parking lot is the parking lot for both, which we didn't know. So <laughs> uh, we came down on we we came from Kanab no. on Road uh, 89 and then went south on Hidden Rock Valley Road, about eight miles, and it's a dirt road. And at the time. 
It was uh, severely rutted and pretty rough to get here. It took us probably an, an hour, hour to, go eight to drive miles. eight miles. And several times Dave said, if it gets any rougher than this, we're going to have to turn around. Yeah, and if you have an off-road vehicle and you're coming here, you can drive quite a bit faster, but um, our van was shaking pretty good. And we yeah. had to drive slow around the ruts and through a couple washes. Yeah, if it had been raining, we would not have made it yeah. up. And in fact, some people came up and said three weeks ago they couldn't make it up the road. Yeah. So, we hiked six miles yesterday. Yeah, a little over six miles. And it was an amazing hike, uh, well worth it. We actually had to pay for our dog to hike on the trail. So not only did we have to pay for ourselves, but we had to pay for the dog. So it was $6 per person. And dog. And $6 <laughs> for the dog. I've so never had to pay for a dog. Be prepared for that. That almost was enough to make me not want to do it, but I'm glad we did anyway. Yeah, so. it was worth it. It really was worth it. And there is, we saw probably four or five different places you could camp alongside of the road. One side of the road's all BLM. Uh, like this is right here and so there's pretty convenient spots to camp and don't be afraid of the road because unless it's raining then uh, they say not even to try it and I can see why but uh, right when we were coming back from our hike we saw greater grade in the whole road so I think it's going to be quite a bit better on the way out yeah we'll film that on the way out from yeah. here it looks great like a just the perfect road but coming in was a little iffy yeah So the road looks like it's hit and miss. It did take us uh, 40 minutes to get back as opposed to an hour. So the really bad rutted spots, there wasn't too much they could do with it. So. And there is a lot of people that are staging right here. They're ATVs and side-by-sides and quads and driving those down the road. So then there's a nice parking spot here to offload them I and keep your trucks here. Or you could even keep your camper here and detach your, your vehicle and drive that in too. Yeah. So I would say if you have what just a normal amount of clearance, you'd make it up there just yeah. fine. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I mean, you might have to drive slower than you're used to or you like, but I think just about any vehicle can make it up there. And there's some ruts that you're going to have to negotiate, but thankfully they're a lot less now. Yeah. They... Um, if it's raining and you have a two-wheel drive, I would seriously think twice about it. Yeah, they say any chance of rain don't even try the road, so. Yeah, so the ProMaster does not do well on the sand, and now some of the ruts are filled with sand, which gave us a little bit of problem on the way out, but. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Not bad, so. So stay tuned for our next adventure. <laughs>